Hi, welcome to PSC Roundtable. I'm Dr. Bruce Van Atta. I'm joined today by two of my colleagues, Dr. Tiffany McCormick and Dr. Brad Bankston. The most common cosmetic surgery that we all do is breast augmentation. How do you approach your patients? How do you communicate with them to give them a concept of what to expect? First and foremost, before and after pictures are key to show my work and what they can expect and let them kind of compare their bodies to people similar to them and see what implants actually look like. I also use 3D imaging, which I'm very excited about because, and patients are very excited about, so, by so the way. what's involved with 3D? So we take the patient's picture and it, we can actually place different size and shape implants on their own chest and show them a visual. Brad, do you do something similar? Similar. 3D imaging has just transformed my practice. Um, the technology is really there that you can actually image a patient and give them a very good visual idea of the range of breasts that they can achieve. And it's a great educational tool. It really kind of dives into some unmet expectations. And So you, know, so you both really think it's that right. it's a realistic rendering of what the patient can expect? In most cases, it, it can be. And where it's not, it's pretty easy to say, you know, this, this is what the computer's doing. But in real life, it may look a little bit different because of X, Y, and Z. Exactly. I mean, the computer, obviously, it's good. And yeah. you guys are pretty impressed with the technology. But can it really predict how tissues are going to stretch when we put an implant in there? But you feel like it's pretty close. Yeah, when it comes to, when it comes to uh, the breast, we can image them. We can even do lifts now. And uh, we've done a lot of studies where we can actually show a patient what their result simulated looks like and then compare that to their actual post-op two, three, four, now 10 years later. And it's pretty close? And it's very, very close. That's great. Well, here's an example then where technology is really helping us to communicate with our patients and maybe create realistic expectations, which is important. Yeah.